Public school teachers across the state overwhelmingly voted in support of a new four-year contract with better pay and benefits. And joining us this morning is Osa Tui Jr., president of the Hawaii State Teachers Association. Good morning and thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Now, first off, what can you tell us about the voting turnout last night as well as the results? Last night we had uh, around 7,000 of our members come out uh, and vote 92% in favor of this contract. And you were at McKinley High School last night talking to teachers. What was their reaction? Yeah, they're excited to just be, you know, have some stability for the next four years. They're, they're looking forward to the pay increases over each of the next four years and some of the other things that we were able to achieve in this contract. Now, you called this deal the strongest contract ever. Why? I did. Every contract builds upon the next, uh, the previous contract, and this one builds a lot. We had 80 pages to share with our members of things that were changed in this contract. What are some of the highlights of this contract? Uh, Compensation is always <laughs> the number one priority, but even smaller things, you know, some uh, pay increases for our department chairs, our band directors, things like that. Um, some safety protocols about when we have to close a school. Um, and so as we come out of the pandemic, <laughs> we wanted to make sure that we get some things down in writing on that. Now, is there any particular group of teachers that this new contract benefits the most? New teachers, maybe more experienced teachers? All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> so for our brand new emergency hires, which kind of are the glue that sticks everything together, mm -hmm. we, we have such a shortage, right? And so we have emergency hires. Their pay is going to go from thirty-eight to $50,000. And then for those at the top of our pay scale, uh, they will get some bonuses. And then we added a new classification for all of our teachers to continue to get professional development uh, to strive for a new classification. And it's all about getting teachers to retain teachers as well as to attract new teachers as well. This is all about recruiting and retaining because we want our Keiki to have a stable teacher in their classroom and not a rotating uh, set of teachers that come in and out or long-term substitutes. Now what's the next steps that need to happen and when does this new contract go into effect? So next steps we just have to sign off on the official paperwork and this contract goes into effect July 1st. Any final comments thoughts? Uh, we're just satisfied and now we have to work on other things legislatively like teacher housing, teacher tax credits and public preschool. We're looking forward to those challenges. All right, there you have it. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Mahalo, we appreciate Mahalo, it. everyone. Congratulations. Thank you.